Here it says a cylindrical storage tank used to store a chemical has a volume of this and a height of this. You can see this fraction. The GED always put in fractions in their in their word problems, in their geometric uh, problems, you know, just to test your knowledge of fractions. You might not really just see um, fraction questions given directly. They will just be in your question as word problems. So you should know how to you know, work with fractions. And the best thing about um, the GED is that the fractions given can be easily converted to your decimal points, okay? I mean, your decimal figures, all right? So this three over four is always good to know, know some similar fractions and their conversion to their decimal uh, numbers, okay? Three over four is 0.75. And one over two is what 0.5. Okay, these are the popular ones um, that usually come out from the GED test. So you should, you know, get to know them. One over three is 0.33. Okay, this is 0. Point, sorry, I didn't add the five. Okay, 0. 0.50. Okay. So know this easy conversion from fraction to decimal. Okay. So from here, now you see we're given the volume, we're given the height, and we're told to find the radius. Of the tank okay that's what we're told to find the height is what 21 three quarter we're told to find the radius the volume is 2500 cubic feet okay so from our gd formula sheet the the volume of a cylinder is what by r square h all right we are given our v as this so let's put this put it here 2500 our pi from uh, the GED, it would always state pi as what, 3.14. So we have 3.14 times, we're looking for R, so we leave R as R square, since we don't know R, times H, H is what, 21 three quarter. We can quickly change this as what, 21.75. Okay, just add this 0 0.5 to 21, okay? 0.75 to 21. When you add it, you have 21.75. Okay, so we have 21.75. All right. So what we do here is, I would prefer that we multiply this. Let's multiply these two numbers here. So we have 2,500 equal to this times this would give us a 68.295 uh, times R square. Now to let r square be alone here so we can find r we divide both sides by 68295 divide by 68295 and this would cancel so we're left only with r square here this divided by this would give us punching your calculator there's a calculator um there will always be calculator on your dashboard for questions like this calculator will be allowed Okay, so we have this. So it means R square is equal to 36.60, and it says to the nearest cubic feet. So we're going to, you know, approximate very soon. So here, as I said earlier on, we have R squared. So to get just R alone, we have to square root this. And when you square root one side, you have to find the square root of the other side. And so the square root of this is 6.05. Okay. So from here, we're told to, to um, what is the radius of the tank to the nearest cubic feet. So to the nearest cubic feet, R will be what? The nearest cubic feet, that is a whole number. You look, you look at um, after, after the decimal point, you check for the next number. Is this number up to five? It's not up to five. Okay, so it means we cannot approximate a one to add to this six. Okay, that's the way approximation is done. Okay, so we can just we have to just leave six alone. So r to the nearest the radius of the nearest um, cubic feet is what six what sorry this shouldn't be cubic feet just to the nearest feet is six what feet. Okay, so this is our answer six feet. All right, you see questions like this. It might not. Um, you know, the GED questions like a lot of text to get you a bit worried and confused. But all you need to know is just bring out what you need. Okay, the values you need, that's all. And, you know, apply your formula. All right. So this is the answer for.